Welcome back guys, absolutely glorious day today, sun blazing down, been about, I don't know, 25, 26 degrees, although I've looked at my heater and that reckons that air temperature in that space is around 29 degrees, so that's been performing well today. Um, so yeah, absolute scorchio today, been working outside in it all day, it's been absolute, well it has been nice but it's been hard work working out in this heat all day. Um, so, right, I'm just going to spin you around and show you this, this Coppens, um, I've emptied bag now, um, got rest on it into feeder and into my pre-weighed tubs, um, but this is going to be going very soon, um, it's absolute crap, it does absolute carnage to your water, um, now I'm not saying you can't get good growth out on it, you probably can, but probably not as much. Um, as you would if you used to use a different food with better ingredients um, or should I say ingredients that are in the right order so I'll spin you around and I'll show you this Coppens grower food the label and what's actually in it so if you are thinking of getting this then if you see this my advice would be to think again right then so this is your Coppens grower guys, this is the 3 mil. Now if we look carefully at this, uh, start this side first, look. We've got a 44% protein, 11% crude fat, we've got 2.3% crude fibre, um, crude ash 10.4%, um, phosphorus 1.38%, calcium 1.7% and sodium 0.3%. Right, that's all well and good, 44%, slightly on high side but, you know, we grow a food you can expect to have a high percentage like that um, right the composition of this food this is where you have to look carefully now I bought this online um, and online it doesn't give you this information it's not until you get the food and you look on the label as to where you see what's actually in this food and what order what percentage it's in in what order so if we look first composition the very first ingredient of this food is wheat All right so that's the main ingredient that they've put on is this wheat next one down poultry meal so that's the second ingredient now normally um, with foods like this from top to bottom they would list um, the food what is what builds up the most of the protein percentage um, so we've got wheat first poultry meal second we've got sunflower meal third wheat protein then fish meal so fish meal isn't listed until you get down to the fifth ingredient now now to me that tells me that there's not a great deal of fish meal percentage in that food. Um, the main sources of protein within that food are wheat protein and poultry meal. Um, this it is supposed to be insect flavouring, but it's not actually insect meal; it's just insect flavouring. So. My personal opinion on this Coppens food, I'm not too sure on what the other ones are like, so, so such as your OSW or your um, your Top Koi and things like that. I'm not too sure of them. Um, so you know, I don't know what the composition of those foods is, but I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty similar because um, I know at one point Coppens did base their foods mainly on fish meal, and then some reason they decided to switch to poultry meal um, so anyway that's your coppins it's crap it messes your water up so I'm hoping when I go to BKKS show I'm hoping to find a good deal on a good quality food so that's about it for, time, for the time being guys um, I just wanted to show you that we'll go outside we'll have a look at fish I've been going absolutely balmy in this corner. They know where that food comes out now. 
even if a couple of pellets drop you know because the spout of this the food just sits in there so any slight knock of that feeder and bits of food just drop out because the food just sits within this spout here and then as it feeds it's got sort of like a, wor a worm drive inside this coil that spins round that pushes the food out so if this gets knocked slightly bits of food will drop out and if a couple of pellets drop down there they swarm that corner they're not daft I'm going to have to get the big chag out at some point as well because I've noticed um, she's got a bit of white on top of her head and I'm not too sure what it is she's just down there so I'm going to have to get her out at some point just so we can have it just there you can just see it look something's bothering her so I'm going to have to get her out at some point just to have an inspection of what it is that I'm hoping it's not some sort of fungus starting. I don't know where she's going. Oh, she's still down there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get her out at some point, just to have a bit of an inspection. You can just see it look on camera, just down there. on her head. Right, I'll snap back to you in a bit guys. Right then guys, I'm on a mission. I need to get in. I'm going to check my bottom drain and see if any settlement has settled in bottom, any of that backy shower media. Because I've got a feeling all debris is going to be sat in bottom. Um, and also, I'm going to check that it's actually pulling properly. Because I don't think it is. So, I've got my pink speedos. Important to see underwater. <laughs> so, there goes nothing. The water is 23 degrees. Yes. Speedos are very important. 23 degrees is still relatively cold. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Is this a bad idea? <laughs> what? That's, that's cold. That's cold. What? That's cold. Can't, can I? Oh, that's cold. I thought that was going to be a lot warmer. What? Let's <laughs> get nine, nine, nine on standby. Sure. That's that's no, that's cold. I thought it was going to be warm. That might send your body in shock. I thought that was going to be warm. You're, you're already shocking. Don't fucking grab it. No, there. I thought it was going to be warmer. I'm going to have to turn it up to like I can 40 do it. degrees. I'll be right. Did you get fried fish? I can do it. I'll be right. It wouldn't be so bad if it were like... Feeding time madness.
Right, welcome back guys. So what a day it's been today. Absolutely shattered. Been down to the twisted ones. Didn't get any filming done. Um, just too busy bleeding yapping. But yeah, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic day. Um, I can't thank Vince and Sue enough for the hospitality that they showed us. Um, every everyone who were down there it was very nice to meet you all um, we had some good chats some good laughs and um, yeah and it was an absolutely fantastic day so thanks for having us um, and Vince you put on a very good spread to be fair and cupcakes were anyway we've come home with a lovely little Gimrin Platinum Ogon now this one Already it's the wife's favourite. She loves it. So, well done on that one as well, Vince. So, let's go and have a look and we'll show you. So, look at this one then, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Just look at the gimming scales on that. Absolutely gorgeous. And like I say, it's only a tiddler. But it's not the size that counts. Not in this case, anyway. So, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Such a clean fish, and the skin luster on it is absolutely incredible. Such a nice fish. Look at that one, guys. White as can be. Like I say, the gimmin. Absolutely top draw on that one. Probably about 14, 15 cm, something like that. Absolutely beautiful. So all that's left to do now with this guy is get it introduced to them guys. Get it introduced to these. These have been happy enough all day while I've been gone. With the with their auto feed. So let's get it in. And there she goes. And yes, I'm going to have to get myself a little pan net for stuff like that. Um, only thing I ain't got, so I could I could do again a little pan net just for transferring fish. Awesome. Right, that's that in there then, guys. So yeah, like I say, it's been an absolutely cracking day. If you've never been down to Vince's, then I highly recommend you go down and see his set up in his pond. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic fish. Well looked after. So yeah, I'm going to get in the house now, get some snap, get my slippers on, and get in front of the telly, I think. So I'll catch back with you later, guys.